Hi guys, women in our society have found themselves trapped by living in a culture that constantly tells them to be bad independent women. A new generation has been created whose behaviors and personalities just don't mix well when it comes to actual relationship dynamic. I just read a study by Morgan Stanley that says that over 45% of young women are expected to be single career women by the year 2030. Now, I personally believe that that number will be closer to 90% with the way things are going. What kind of impact do you think this will have on their dating life and society in general? I get asked a lot if I believe that women are naturally hypergamous. My answer is yes. Women are naturally hypergamous by nature, no matter what they decide to tell you, which means they desire a man that's more established, secure, and accomplished than they are. Because it's a numbers game, the higher up the ladder these women climb, the smaller the pool of men they desire to date is. Because it's a smaller pool of men they feel is on their level. And this is exactly what's happening. It's like the walls are closing in on both sides and independent women are becoming victims of their own success. But that's not even the full picture here. I've seen way too many people simply chalk that up to the man not being confident or secure enough to handle an independent woman. And I think that's completely missing the point and deliberately so. I'll go as far as to say that the majority of men are not intimidated by successful women. They're just not interested and I'll tell you why. Think deeply about what that phrase even means. Independent of what? Independent of men, independent of their finances, protection and security. Connect the dots and you'll start to see how this definition strikes at the knee of what makes men truly love women and want to even get into a relationship in the first place. I always say people will tell you what's important to them by what they lead with. Inherently, there's nothing wrong with that. But successful women's careers have become all encompassing. A man does not want a woman that's independent because that's precisely where they find their masculine purpose in protecting and providing for you. A man that sees no role for himself in the relationship eventually will lose interest. A woman that brings her own masculine traits leaves absolutely no room for the unique qualities he brings. Look at it from the man's perspective. A woman who earns a lot of money, needs absolutely no one for protection, and makes all the important decisions on her own, eventually makes him feel like he's not needed. He feels like there's nothing binding her to him. Listen ladies, a real man wants to be your provider and your protector. He wants to show you new things and support you. That's what makes him feel valuable and masculine. That's what makes him love you. A woman that makes her man feel unneeded eventually kills the dynamic of the sexual polarity that defines a relationship in the first place. You end up living like roommates or friends and that can't last for too long. I think women have always known this and have only forgotten it through modern social conditioning. When women in the 19th and 20th century liked the guy, they used to do something called dropping the handkerchief. It was simple. Act as if you dropped something like a handkerchief near him or that you needed help with something trivial. It gave the guy that very small chance to be that woman's hero as he walked up to start a conversation. This is how women back in the day made the first move without making the first move. Today, independent women are picking up the handkerchief their damn selves. So there's no reason for the man to do it. This is what's happening with the masses in the modern dating market. An independent woman is not attractive to men. Just like a dependent man is not attractive to women because there's a harmony and reciprocity that's destroyed when the balance tips too far in either direction. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.